Ayan, I will, I will start recording. Okay, what happened? Zach, you, you left the meeting. Of course I did. Why did you leave the meeting? You asked her to your sister. Because I will start already. All right, okay. Good morning again, everyone. All right, good morning. Agnes, what are you already in preschool? You're also going to school already, right, Agnes? Already, me. Oh, or, or you are grade one, SD1 atau K2? First. First grade. What my idea? Okay, but online also, right? What do you mean, my idea? Already, already. Already. Um, okay, so good morning, Abigail. Is Abigail going to school also? Yes. Oh, K2. K2 or K1, Abigail? Yeah. Oh, K1. K1. All right. Okay. So I think everyone already knows like what is it feel when you are in school or you're having lessons, right? And everyone, I know you're very excited to see your friends face to face. Mommy, okay. I'm excited to my friends face to face. What the pile of water that's in the pipe? Okay, what water in the pipe? Okay, let's pray. Let's pray first. Okay, it's nice to see you, friends. Okay, let us pray. Let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes and let us focus to Jesus, okay? Dear God, thank you so much for this beautiful Sunday. Thank you because you are so good and faithful to us. Bless us today as we will have our Sunday school. May you open our eyes, open our hearts, open our mind to feel and see and live by your message today. Thank you so much. That we are able to do and learn about you even if we're doing it online. And thank you for this opportunity that we will continue to serve you. We will continue to learn about your plans towards our lives. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We praise you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name. We have another word. Amen. Okay. So, hold on. Who did this to this the screen? Who did this one? Okay, let us sing, yeah, and follow these steps. Hallelujah. Okay, let's praise the Lord early in the morning. This is a perfect foundation. This is a that cannot be moved. He's the king of every tribe and nation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is the Lord. He's a perfect foundation. He's the king of every cannot be moved. He's the king of every tribe and nation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the 
Queen of every tribe and nation. Hallelujah, 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 is the ride of your life.
I hope that during our praise and worship, we are really singing yeah, the song. Okay? And we are focused and pay attention. Okay? All right. Now let's have our Bible timeline, his story, our story. So that's the chapter or the books of the Bible. 
and now we are here in the um what is one we are here in a new testament yeah all our stories right now are all in the new testament okay all right so now we have this um, activity what you're going to do is to color okay color the spaces with two dots so for How example this one those two dots so you color it okay very well how many two dots? For example, this one too. Let me show an example, yeah? Okay, like this. This one is two, so you do like this. Then this one also, uh -huh. two, color that. This one, go down like that. Then color. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, I get it. Okay, all right. Now you can continue. I want to continue. Zach, where are you, Zach? Where should I go? You color the box with two lines. There's no box in here. Mommy, how do I do this? I go here and then where should I go? This is just one box. Read this first so you know what to do. Color in this. I miss already, uh, you know, show, but I don't know how to do it. I go already go here. Mm -hmm. I can do it. I can do it. If you read the instruction, you know what to do. Color the spaces uh, with two dots. It's called orange. It's okay. I can't see. I mean, can't see. Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. I think you are. No, yes. But don't press my cannot erase. All right. Okay, let's see. Actually, it should look like this. Nah. Okay, I will erase your drawing first. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so what do you read? Messiah. Me? Messiah. 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 Right. So it's a Messiah. Do you have any idea what a Messiah is? A Messiah is a God. A Messiah is God. Okay. Jesus is the Messiah. Okay. What else? Okay. okay. So Messiah is actually it means anointed one okay it means anointed one now in the old testament there is this prophet isaiah the name is isaiah 
okay, who told about a Messiah who would come to rescue Israel. And you know who is that Messiah? Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Jesus is the appointed one, the anointed one. Okay, he is the Messiah. Okay, and God appointed him to be the one that is to fulfill his plan of salvation. And for that, this activity, accept it or reject it. Okay, it has something to do with our lesson today. Okay, so this time, what you're going to do is that if it is true, it means to say you have to have your thumbs up like this. You see the bunny here? Okay, you do a thumbs up. Oh, squirrel. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so you are really listening to me. I made it like that if I am really like, I have your attention. Okay, now reject it. So you will do like this. You use your emoticon in your Zoom. It's very long for me to fly. Oh, not the emoticon. Okay. Then just have your, your thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. This is the first one. A cat spent four years as the governor of Jakarta. Are you going to accept this or reject this? Yeah. Oh, I see Lumi reject Abigail. Yes. How about Rachel and Agnes? What do you think? Is this true or not? Put thumbs up if it's true. Hands down or thumbs down if it's not true. A cat spent four years as the governor of Jakarta. What is the governor? Governor is like, you know, the head of state. Like, I uh, hope before was the governor. And now we have, who's the governor now? Basweda. It is right? wrong. I think it's wrong. Yes, it is not correct. How can a cat become a governor? A cat is an animal, right? Okay. Next. Let's see. Your body's largest organ is your skin. Can you get? I, 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 I. <laughs> okay, no. is it true or not? No. It is, it is true. Okay, our skin is the largest organ of our body. Okay, it's like us. Yeah, because, um, yeah, you will learn that later, but this is just a fact. That when, we, when we lay down our skin on the field, it's like as, as large as the soccer area, soccer field. That's how large uh, the skin is in terms of area. Okay? Wonderful, yeah? This one, if you eat too much carrots, who loves, who loves carrots here? Oh, Lomi loves carrots. Okay, Zach, do you love carrots, Zach? I can't hear you. Oh, Agnes also loves carrot. Rachel and Abigail loves carrot. So do you think this one, if you eat too much carrots, your skin will become orange? Well, I heard something like that before, but it's not true. They said it's not true. Let's see if it's true or not. Of it's course not. <laughs> it will get you inside. Yeah. green. Okay. All right. Good job, everyone. Last question. God is good and he is true to his promises. Is this reject or accept? Uh, accept. Yes. Zach, what is it yours here, Zach? I don't see your thumbs up or thumbs down. God is good and he is true to his promises. Oh, yes. Very good. Okay. Of course, it is true right so having that activity you know what that when jesus came to earth he taught people 
Yeah, the truth about God and His kingdom. Did everyone accept Jesus' words as true? Yes. You think yes. so? That everyone? Okay, that's what you, you, you think of. We will find it out in our story today. Okay, we will hear about a time when Jesus was rejected. So not everyone where he thought about the truth about God and his kingdom was, uh, was accepted. Okay, he was rejected in his hometown. You know where the hometown of Jesus is? Where did Jesus live? Do you remember? I don't know. Oh, God. Jesus, actually, the hometown of Jesus is in Nazareth. So again, hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring good news and redeem people who were broken and hurting. Jesus read Isaiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. Okay? So our Bible story today is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 4. Book of Luke is in the New Testament. Right? So let's start. Our Bible story title is Jesus Taught in Nazareth. People doing that. Did I mute? Oh. Jesus went to the town of Nazareth, where he had lived when he was a boy. Now he's grown. He traveled all around teaching people about God. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue in Nazareth. The synagogue was a special building where Jews met together to pray, worship, and learn about the scriptures. Jesus stood up to read scripture. He unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and read, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captives that they are free, to tell the blind that they can see, to free people who have been treated badly, and to announce that the Lord's favor is on us. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll. He gave it to the attendant and sat down. Yes, Everyone can I get it, please? Jesus. Jesus said, yes. Today, as you listen to me reading these words, they came true. The people said good things about Jesus, and they were amazed at him. Some of the people in Nazareth had known Jesus from his youth. Isn't this Joseph's son? They asked. Jesus said, no prophet is accepted in his own town. Jesus told the people about times when God used prophets to help people who were not Jews. He reminded them of Elijah and Elisha. When there was a terrible famine in Israel and no rain fell there for three and a half years, plenty of widows in the country needed help. But the prophet Elijah did not help the widows in Israel. Instead, God sent Elijah to help a widow in another land. And when Elisha was a prophet, many people in Israel had leprosy. They wanted to be healed, but Elisha did not heal them. Instead, he healed a man named Naaman. Naaman was from Syria, a country that hated God's people. The people in the synagogue were angry. They forced Jesus out of town. They wanted to throw him off a cliff, but Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring good news and redeem people who were broken and hurting. Jesus read Isaiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. Wow, wonderful story. Okay, so in that particular story, we saw that Jesus taught 
that he is the Messiah. And what, how did he do that? He read the scroll, the scripture that was written by Isaiah a long time ago, thousands of years ago. And yet these people are, some of them, some of the people did not accept that. They rejected Jesus and they're very angry. You okay, know, we are not, we'll, you are not the Messiah. We don't think that you would be the one to save us. So the people, they wanted to, you know, kill Jesus at that time. They wanted to push Jesus until let Jesus fall on the cliff. Okay? And, you know, you notice that this is a prophecy. Remember, we had our discussion of this one before. We had sharing about what a prophecy is. It is something that, we, something that will happen in the future. Okay, and that is actually happening at this time. And one sad thing is that Jesus is in Nazareth, where people have known him since Jesus was young. They might, might, they might have known Jesus to be a very good boy, obedient boy, and had never been into fight. But these people did not accept the reality, did not, did not listen and they were very angry they rejected jesus and jesus was not saying something that is not written in the book before there was no bible yet so what do they have they write all their revelation of god through a scroll or a scripture they call it a scripture or scroll and they wrote what they have observed they wrote what they have seen they wrote what god has you know, um, revealed to them. And Jesus would not say, oh, listen to me. I am saying this. There was a basis, right? Jesus read to them the truth about Messiah. Yes, Agnes, you are raising your hand. Anything you want to ask something? No. I know, okay, because you were raising your hand a while ago. I thought you would like to ask something. All right, so Jesus, again, is the Messiah. And not everyone, you know, listened to him. Not everyone accepted him. Maybe because they were thinking that a Messiah, what? I know you. You were still, you were our neighbor, Jesus. How come you're saying right now that you are the Messiah, that you are the one that this prophet Isaiah was talking about? And they are in the synagogue. You know what the synagogue is? It's like a church. People go there to worship and read the scripture. And they should know what the scripture is talking about. Just like you, right? You are reading your book. You are learning and you need to read your book. You learn something from it. Hmm. These people have learned already about the truth. But what happened? Well, uh -huh. we will not uh -huh. believe. Sorry, Lumi, what did you say? The house is gone again. It's okay. It will be. It will come out again. Okay. So yeah. It will come back again. I have to restart my computer. No, no. I, I, I have you. Okay. Now let's play. Let's play. Let's play quizzes again. Okay. I will share the um the link. The quiz. The quiz. Yeah, yeah. We will play quizzes. Hold on. That's what are you doing? Okay, there. Me come here. Me doing. Okay, Zach, can you click on your chat, Zach? Okay, waiting for participants. That's why this one. Go to chat. Here, here. I just think this one. I think so. I mean, the one that that that's right there. Okay. 
Let me see. Waiting for participants. Okay, I have Zach. Zach is in. How about others? Oh, yeah, yeah. You use my Okay, already three. Lumiere, Zach, Agnes. Shall I start now? How about Abigail and Rachel? Okay, I will start now, yeah. Is it okay? Rachel, Abigail, will I start? Ah, it's okay, yeah. Right, okay, I will start now, yeah. Okay, these are the questions. Thank you. 
I know it. <laughs> Second is Lumi. Third is Gail. Okay. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. Okay. Well done. Well done. Okay. Let's clap our hands for our friends. Good job. Okay. Now let's continue on the. Okay, hold on. Let me share screen. All right, so next, okay, this is our big picture question. What makes people special? Oh, yes, Gail. <laughs> Yes, Gail? Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus loves people. That's why we are special. Okay, that's right. Okay, anybody else? Jesus loves us because we are made by him. Yeah, Jesus loves us because he created us. Okay, Rachel, how about Rachel? What makes you special? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Okay, how about, it's okay. Zach, what makes you special? God. <laughs> All right, so this is our big picture question answer. People are special. We are all special because we are made in God's image. As what? As male and female. To know him. Okay, and because of that, God loves us so much. Okay, when someone is special to us, of course, we love that someone, right? Okay. So now, this is our key passage. For God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Okay. 
So let's have the action and our Bible passage. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn the verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Looks like you're ready. John 3.16. God loved the world mwah, so much that he gave his one and only son. What? What? <laughs> Guy, will you say the verse again for us? Sure. Repeat after me. Okay, repeat and follow the action. Yeah, Lumi, stop drawing. Zach, stop doing with that. Follow what is on the video. Yeah, okay. Zach, stop it. Okay, let's start and follow the one in the video. John 3, 16. John, John 3, 16. God loved the world. God loved the God world. Loved the world. So much. So much. So much that he gave. That he gave. His one and only son. His, His one, one and, and only son. son. Friends, I think you've got it. Now say it with us. John, John 3.16. God, God loved the world, the world. Mm -hmm. so, so much, much that, that he gave, gave his one and only son. son. Wah, wah. Wah. All right. <laughs> Good job, friends. God showed his love by giving us Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. God loves us so much. You know the world that is said here? This is us. Okay. God loved us so much that he gave his only son who is Jesus. Yeah? Only son. That's how great the love of God is for all of us. Okay. So for our... Um, arts and crafts, if you have your scissors with you, your pencil or your pen, have it ready, and also your paper. Okay, we are going to do a praying hand. Okay, look at this video first. Okay, do not do anything yet. Look at how, the, how it is done. Okay, let's watch the video. <laughs> You'll need a piece of paper, scissors, and a pen. First, we're going to fold the piece of paper in half. Sorry, sorry. Okay, good. Now we're going to open it up and see our praying hands. On the inside of our praying hands, we're going to write our prayer. So you can take time with your family, parents, you can ask your kids what is on their heart. Uh, what do they want to pray and ask God for? All right. So let's start from the beginning. Paper. Fold into half. Okay, you fold into half. After folding it into half, it should look like this. Okay, fold into half. Agnes, you have the paper. Yeah, oh, already folded. Yeah, Agnes. Did you fold already? Okay, good. All right. 
Now, after folding it, what you do, you put your left hand or your right hand at the bottom part, like this in the picture. Then make sure that your hand is near the one with the folded paper. Okay? Not the one with the ends, both ends meet. Okay? Part? Yeah, the part that is folded. Yeah, that's correct. Put your hand there. The folded part, not the one where both ends are meeting. Meeting, I mean. Okay, you trace your hand. You do this, you trace your hand. Not nice. It's okay, no problem. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, after you trace your hand, that's the time you're going. Can you show first? Let me see. Okay, Lumi, can you show? No, I want to do it again. Okay, no problem. Okay, I see that Rachel. Agnes are cutting already. Then Abigail is still tracing his hand, her hand. Someone is so busy. Done, 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 done. Check the planet because it is still burning. Accidentally, careful in cutting, yeah. Careful. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Agnes, now what you do, you write down in your praying hands, what is your prayer to Jesus? Write down there. Okay. Okay, so let me see if you can show on the screen whatever you have finished. You can continue that later.
Okay, show your praying hands. So I can take a picture. Okay. Lumi, just show whatever you were able to finish. And Abigail also, show on the screen. So I'll take picture. Uh, Agnes. Okay. All right, ready? Don't cover your faces. Make sure your faces can be seen. Ready? One, two, three. Gail, you are just your praying hands. Okay, I'll take photo. Okay, again, again. Okay, Lumi, one, two, three. Show your praying hands. Zach. Okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. Okay, I remove you because you're not following instructions. Okay, so let us pray. You can continue that. Okay, later, yeah. So again, our lesson today is that the main point, Jesus taught in Nazareth and not all those people were happy about it. You cannot hear me because I don't hear You were not listening. No, no. Sit down there. Sit down there. You sit beside me, Andre. It's the same thing. Yeah. You cannot hold up the iPad. Give it to me. No. If you don't listen, get the message. Okay, so today Jesus taught in Nazareth about the good news, and people were not happy about it. They did not accept that it is actually Jesus who is the appointed one, the Messiah. Okay, so let us pray. Any prayer request? None. Okay, let us pray. Let's pray first. Lumi, you can do that later, Lumi. Let's pray first. Lumi. Okay, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for our story and the lesson that we learned today. Thank you, Lord, that you have sent Jesus to be our Messiah, to be the appointed one, the anointed one, to be our Savior who will save us from our sin. Thank you for loving us so much, for creating us, and for giving us wonderful future. Father in heaven, we pray that this week will be a week of breakthrough for our families, a week that is full of happiness, peace, love, mercy, grace, and everything, Lord God, that we will always be a blessing to the people around us. Thank you so much that you help mommy and daddy with their work and whatever activities that we will have in school this week. You help us with our learning. You help us with our daily activities. You will continue to guide, protect, and take care of us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We lift up to you our heart's desire for when you only, you deserve the glory and the honor. We pray that whatever we heard, watched, learned, and, and understand today, may we use them to be better children, to be better growing children in the future. We will put that word, Holy Bible, the word, God's word into our hearts and keep them. And may we grow in the fear and love of your Father. We thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and our God in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Let's have a picture first. Okay. Let's smile. Let's give. 
Let's give our best smile. Ready? One, two, three. Lumi, I can see you. Okay, again. One, two, three. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Have a blessed week. Enjoy the rest of Sunday. May you be successful this week. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, me. Bye. Don't leave your gunna. Again, what did you say, Rachel? Oh. Oh. Aya, go here. We want to. Okay. Okay.